ain't no stopping Mother Nature. Once you get her riled up, she's riled up. Once you upset her, she's upset and she stays up. And she can hold the grudge. Yeah, she can, she can hold the grudge and make it cold for years. What I'd do is I'd just drop arms right there and just drop arms and go home. You know, like, go home and protect your wives and children and love them. You know, protect and love your wives and children. Because for some reason, ours seems to be getting closer. Yeah, I know, because the days are going faster. See, they used to go really slow, and now they're going faster. And as time goes faster, you know, then it gets closer. And as it gets closer, I'll tell you what, though, it would be a whole lot easier if you was to drop arms and go home and, and listen to me talk about building garden dome homes and water cleaning power plants green peace for all and everyone and I'm still sober I'm drinking coffee so you know you can't you can't say I'm crazy it's because of my drunkness and it's not because of my drunkness is I'm crazy no wait a minute that's not how to do this too busy pissing people off cuz I can hear you complaining about being pissed off well you know what the way you're doing things you ought to be pissed off at yourself anyways so we was talking about building something or another changing the world that's what we was talking about demon we was talking about changing the world you know, because some areas are going to need floating garden dome homes. Floating. You know, and I wanted to make garden dome homes. We could take them out in the ocean and, you know, let them sell to the bottom and anchor them down. And then we could build a snake train that goes from land to ocean to land. And you can go down and visit the garden dome cities under the ocean. So, oh, I've always been in love with the salt in the sea. Never been there and ever since I was a wee little, wee little guy back there and seen all the, little, the first commercials that was coming out and, you know, praising how great the salt in the sea was at the time and how you know, all the Hollywood famous was going there, and big clubs, and all the exciting things the, ex the world had to offer was happening right there. So ever since then, I was like, wow. But then, then I looked and I seen, wow, what happened to it? And I said, well, because Colorado shipped in. And, you know, now it's, now it's busy drying up and smelling like rotten eggs but if I was if I was in charge down there yeah, I would say well let's put a pipeline from this area on the north side we'll go up through the valley and we'll put it down to the other side you know that way you know we can suck 60 inch, 66 inches of water big old pipe of water, you know, using the ocean currents and the fans, so you got like a, an eight cylinder pump on these two big fans, you know, and pump water up and over the hill. Once it gets to the top of the hill, it starts flowing down, it creates a siphon, 
Now check this out, you know, those people that don't want the pipeline going over the property, you can put them in the center and say, I give you free energy, let this pipeline go three and a half. We will put an inline turbine on, on the pipeline, put a generator there, and then we can, and then the property only have an energy flow that they can make cash abundance out of. And we send the pipe on down to the other side that way everybody gets a piece of the pie that gets involved. So the other side of the, the other side of dumps out in the ocean, right? And then we put like a little levee on the other side. So that way we can control how deep water gets. You know, I don't want 10%, you know, or even a big, nice big incentive check or whatever just to, just uh, so I can, you know, make right, so I can make right, yeah. So a big pad of center check or whatever so I can make right, and then, and then, uh, you know, then you guys have a fresh flow, a fresh flowing body of water going through the salt and sea, it raises the salt and back up to its original standards of beauty. You know, you put fish farms out in the middle of it, in domes. And then around the fish farms, you want to go and put other domes that are hotels. You know, so you can have divers go down and swim, you know. And then you can feed the fish or not, and, you know. It'd be cool to be able to swim down and dive down to the garden dome town, you know, a little garden dome village, a little garden dome resort, fish resort, you know, you have fish fries and all kinds of good things, you know, because all your air is recycled through water, it's good, I mean, it's, so I recycle and cleanse through water and then oxygen is added to it, and so there's a whole bunch of details, but, you know, that's why I'm asking 10% for the details, because there's so many details, you know. You know, it's not just one detail, it's like this detail connects to this detail, connects to this detail, connects to this detail, connects to this detail. The next thing you know, you have a self-sustaining city that's, you know, paying out dividends to the people that live there, you know, because of, because of the byproduct of the city that's a usable fuel. And so you get a usable fuel from a whole big city, you know, that's, you know, it's a profitable city. Not only that, it's a garden dome city for a reason, it's because everybody's growing food. And if everybody's growing and freeze drying food, you gotta freeze, you gotta dry it out, make it, make it last for as long as possible, that way you can ship it to the other side of the world. Or wherever, you know, and because, yeah, the whole idea is to produce, you know, clean water and clean food and clean energy and a no smog zone, you know, and we can do that. All we have to do is gather together, and I believe the salt, the salt and city of the salt and sea would be the perfect place for such a project, but, you know, certain people in power, it's kind of hard to do, you know, because they just want to do things backwards, but if I had an initial plan, which I do have a good, very good plan, it's profitable for everyone that gets involved, but not only is it profitable, but it also makes heaven on earth very possible because heaven on earth is merely the perfect living conditions. So, you know, if you had clean water and clean energy, clean food, you know, and no worry about waste because the waste is all processed, your trash is all processed, and it's refined. You know, and after it's been refined, it's 
is put in a big, a uh, big vat and allowed to decay into into a heating fuel, which part of the city will be built in furnaces for the rest of the world. You know, because it's going to get cold and snowy and rainy and big ice balls are going to fall. And yeah, and then, well, each garden dome, you know, it has a bowl under it where there's an ample supply of its own water. It's got fish in it and that comes up and sprays water on the, on all the plants that are growing up right you know in the garden and stuff and then your your living space and then your control room on top you know which yeah which gives you plenty of more room you can go down and run around the garden space you know it's like pretty good pretty good size home for four people you know, and build, build a bunch of those out in the desert, and then we can plant garden, you know, make beautiful gardens all through the streets, and, and all that food can be processed and dried out, and sold out to the rest of the world, and everybody will make a profit, and everybody will be happy, see, because it's ever done. The dome itself is uh, like a little kingdom inside, you know. So you have a family of four. Well, if you own your own garden dome home, then you can be the king of it. All right, it's a short video. I'll see you again soon. Hope you all think about it a lot.